Mañana Iguana by Anne Whitford Paul, illustrated by Ethan Long. On Monday, lunes, Iguana twitched her tail happily. Let's celebrate spring with a party on Saturday. Conejo hopped up and down. Yes, let's. Tortuga poked out of his shell. A fiesta? On sábado? Count me in. Culebra shook his rattle. Me too. Good, said Iguana. We must start right away. Who will help me write the invitations? Yo no. Not I, said Conejo. I write too fast. No one could read my words. No one. Yo no, said Tortuga. I write too slow. I can't hold a pen, said Culebra. Maybe I'll grow arms tonight and can help you tomorrow. Hmm, we can't wait until mañana, Iguana wriggled her tail. I'll write the invitations myself, and she did. On martes, Iguana asked, who will help me deliver the invitations for our fiesta? Yo no sé, conejo. I move too fast. I'd pass our friends. Yo no sé, tortuga. I move too slow. Culebra said, if I grow arms tonight, I'll help you mañana, Iguana. Mañana will be too late. Iguana fidgeted her tail. I'll deliver the invitations myself. And she did. On miércoles, Iguana asked, who will help me stuff the piñata for our fiesta? Yo no, said Conejo. I stuff too fast. I'd rip and tear. Yo no, said Tortuga. I stuff too slow. Culebra said, mañana, Iguana, when I grow arms. Too many excuses, Iguana flounced her tail. I'll stuff the piñata myself. And she did. On jueves, Iguana begged, please, please, will someone help me cook the food for our fiesta? Yo no sé, conejo, I cook too fast, I'd make a mess. Yo no sé, tortuga, I cook too slow. Culebra said, if I grow arms, I'll help you mañana, Iguana. Iguana slapped her tail on the ground, I'll cook the food myself. And she did. On viernes, Iguana sighed. <sighs> I don't suppose anyone will help me hang the streamers for our fiesta? Yo no, said Conejo. I hang too fast. I tear the streamers. Yo no, said Tortuga. I hang too slow. Culebra said, I'll help you hang the streamers. Iguana clapped. Hooray! I'll help you mañana, Iguana, when I grow my arms. Hmm, really? I knew it. Iguana smacked her tail on the ground so hard, she puffed up a cloud of dirt. I'll decorate by myself. And she did. Do you see? that she put up the piñata and the balloons. And then it was sábado. Conejo hopped up and down. We're ready for our fiesta. Tortuga poked out of his shell. Here come our guests. Culebra shook his rattle. Let's greet them. Wait, no. Wait, no. Iguana whipped her tail around in angry circles. I wrote the invitations and I delivered them. I stuffed the piñata, I cooked the food, I hung the streamers. Now I, and I alone, will greet my guests at my fiesta. Understood? And she did. Conejo hurried to hide behind a cactus. Tortuga shrunk into his shell. Culebra slithered under a rock. They must have been embarrassed. They watched for a long time while the guests laughed 
and ate and broke the piñata. What a fine fiesta, the guests said as they left. Bye, friends. Bye, Iwana. Iguana yawned. <sighs> I'm too tired to clean up. I'll do it mañana. She stretched out and soon slept. Conejo hopped from behind the cactus. Iguana's really worn out, he said. Tortuga poked out of his shell. She should be. She did everything. Culebra slithered out from under the rock and we did nothing. They were silent for a long time. Suddenly, Conejo said, I have an idea. He told it to his friends. That's great, said Tortuga. Culebra said, let's start now. And they did. Conejo pulled down streamers, put away leftovers, and packed up trash. Tortuga scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed one giant platter. And Culebra wriggled and squirmed, sweeping the ground spotless. They worked until Domingo, and Iguana woke up. She rubbed her eyes and looked around. She looked at Conejo and Tortuga and Culebra. Iguana smiled. Gracias, she said. Thank you so much. Then she twitched her tail happily. You must be hungry from your hard work. Who will help me eat the leftovers? Yo sí, cried Conejo, Tortuga, and Culebra. And they all did. They ate all the leftovers. And now I have questions for you. Why did Iguana write the invitations all by herself? Why did Iguana get mad at her friends? How did her friends feel when they were left out of the party? Where did Iguana sleep? What did Conejo, Culebra, and Tortuga plan to do for Iguana? How did Iguana feel when she woke up? Thank you for joining me for the reading of Mañana Iguana. My name is Dr. Cristina Saldana. I'm a speech-language pathologist and owner of bilingual resources for therapists and teachers. You can follow me on Teachers Pay Teachers for great bilingual worksheets and workbooks. Follow me on Instagram as Bilingual Resources for Teachers and on Facebook as Bilingual Resources for Therapists and Teachers. Thank you.